Okay, I got the Lang fired up today. It's uh, Sunday, November 3rd. And I started off with some lump charcoal just to get it get it started. And now I have a couple pieces of oak in the firebox, as you can see. So I uh, got the door wide open, got the pinwheel dampers wide open. And uh, letting that smoke burn off until we get a nice, good cooking heat about uh, 250. And then I'm going to put the ribs on. And that'll bring the temp down to 225, and we'll try to stay at that 225 for uh, the duration. I do the 3 2 1 method today three hours uh, straight up on the smoker, bare bones, and then uh, two hours we're going to wrap in foil, and then one hour uh, to finish. So you can see I got a nice uh, smoke coming out of the the chimney right now. We don't want to cook with that type of smoke because that's uh, that's just not good cooking heat. We want a nice clear heat coming out of there and that smoke will uh, eventually disappear and we'll have a nice resonating heat coming out of there. And you can see, I'll show you the inside of the smoker. Took the top rack out. Right now I'm just uh, I got my probe right there. That's my meat probe, but I just have it in there just to see what the temperature is going to come up to. But uh, this is the Lang 36 stretch on a trailer frame. And it's got a nice big basket on the side. I can keep my wood and keep coolers back there. And, uh, you know, you got the whole front area as well. About 1,300 pound rig total, total. Got some nice uh, polished aluminum wheels on it, and uh, this thing is just awesome. So the actual cooking space is about 54 inches across from one side to the next, and 18 and a half inches in depth. So it's close to a Lang 60, but it doesn't have the height of a Lang 60. It's got plenty of uh, cooking space, though. I've had this thing loaded up to the hilt. You could probably get, uh, oh, easily 12 to 15 racks of ribs on here. Probably more if you cook them in a uh, vertical, uh, like upside down rib roast pan, or a rack rather. But uh, that's the Lang. Got to close this, bring it up to temp, and uh, get those ribs on there for Sunday. So that's my Lang. Can't wait to cook. I've been cooking on it every single weekend since I bought it. Over here is the warmer box. It's just a separate warming unit. You want to bring up sides or you want to cook turkey or like, uh, like Ben Lang says, you know, it's great if you're out back or, you know, away from your kitchen or even if you're, you know, cooking at your home backyard like I am and I just don't feel like walking in and out to, uh, bring up my sides. I have some usually put some beans in there or corn on the cob, what have you. So you see we got a nice fire cooking here. I'm gonna close this door now a little bit more to retain some of that heat. I'm not cooking on the warmer today. But you can see it's uh, nearing 125 degrees. And it usually drops about 15 degrees as soon as you open the door and right now that says a little bit over a hundred but inside the grill you can see that's my uh, barbecue monitor there I got 118 which is on the food probe and 124 on the grill itself so anyway uh, I'll be back in a little bit show you what the ribs look like and over and out for right now length 36 stretch